Hello and welcome back. Let's go ahead and start a new note this week. So our new note is A, which is thumb, remember I'm backwards from you, thumb, one, and two. So make sure your left hand is on top. Left hand is on top, left hand is on top. All right, so A, thumb, one, two. You should be getting your donut holes because you are sealing the hole so well. You can take your right hand, since we're not using it right now, and just hold the foot joint of your instrument. So A, thumb one and two, go ahead and echo me. So that's A. So when you add E, G, and E, so A and G use just your left hand. When you add E, you add your right hand. So let's go A, G, E, using half notes. So A, G, E. Try it with me. Ready, go. Let's do it one more time. Make sure you're using your warm, slow air like you're fogging up a mirror. Um, you are saying do when you change notes, and you are sealing your holes with your left hand on top. Try it again, A, G, and E. Ready, and one more time. Good. So now let's talk about how to read music on the staff practice our reading music on the staff. So we just went over how to play G and E. So here's just a reminder of what they look like on the staff. G is on the second line. E is on the first line. So G, E. So let's compare that to our new note, A. A is our first space note which that means that it is between two lines. It is the space between two lines. So there is no line or anything going through the middle. This is a space note. And you can see that A is on the second space. If you're going up from the bottom, which is what we do, it is on the second space. So we just went over how to play A but if you need a reminder, it is your thumb on the back hole, your pointer finger down, and your middle finger down. So it's only two fingers down and your thumb. Make sure when you're playing, you're using your warm, slow air. Make sure that you are sealing the holes so you get your donut holes on your fingers. All right, if you want, take your right, your left hand is on top, of course. Take your right hand and just hold the foot joint at the bottom so that way it's out of the way. All right, let's try playing A. Ready and play A. Good, play A again. Ready and play it again. Good, so let's go ahead and play some rhythms on A. This is, say it with me, ready, and say the rhythm, ta, ta, di, ta, ta. Say it again, ready, go. Ta, ta, di, ta, ta. All right, let's play it. Remember, you say do when you play. Do, 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 do. Ready, and play it, go. Play it again, ready, go. Good, next rhythm. Say it, ready, and say the rhythm. Ta, ta, di, ta, ta, di. Say it again, ready, go. Ta, 
Tadi ta tadi. Good, let's play it. Ready? And play it go. Good, make sure you're using do. Again, and go. Good. All right, last rhythm for today. Say the rhythm, ready, go. Ta di, ta di, ta, ta. Good, let's see if we can remember that when we play it. Ready, and play it, go. Good hand check, make sure that your left hand is on top. You are sealing the back hole with your thumb, pointer finger, middle finger down, right hand holding the foot joint without covering any holes, using warm, slow air, saying do. Ready, and try it again. Good. So let's talk about some new things we're gonna see. This is a whole rest in the first one, and then a half rest is the second one. The way you can remember this is the whole rest looks like a hole in the ground, and a half rest looks like a hat, and half and hat sound very close to each other. The whole rest means that you rest the whole measure. No matter how many beats are in the measure, it is you rest the whole measure. So, a whole rest is you rest the whole measure. A half rest is two beats. So you're going to rest two beats. One way that you can remember that is going shh, shh. I don't really like using that because a rest means that there should be no sound, but if that helps you keep the steady beat, it's totally fine. So a whole rest, the whole measure, a half rest, two counts. So let's look at this. We have our three notes that we've learned, A, G, and E, followed by what kind of rest? A half rest. So you rest two counts. So A, if I'm giving a study B, each of these gets two. A, G, E, sh, sh. Hopefully that made sense and you could hear the steady beat happening with a half note. So let's try playing it. So think about what A is, what G is, and what E is. Ready? And play it. Go. Try it again. So each of those got held for two. So we're going to work in half notes and whole rest and half rest for today. So if you look at this one, you will notice that the notes are repeated. So the first measure is what note? It's our new one. A, A. And then what's the next one? G, G, E, E, and then what is the end? It is a whole rest. Woohoo! Let's sing it. Ready? And sing the song. A, A, G, G, E. Good, let's try playing it. Ready, and play it, go. Good. So, let's do one more that mixes up the notes a little bit more. So you'll notice at the end, what kind of rest do you have? Does it take up the whole measure or does it take up two counts? 
it takes up two counts and there's a trick here because you have a half note right here so that tells you it doesn't take up the whole measure all right let's try it ready and try playing go You play it while I sing it. Ready? And you play, I sing. A, G, E, G, A, G, E. Good, let's play it together. Ready? And here we go. Okay, so now we are going to do some improvisation on A, G, and E. So let's move to real life teaching and not music reading. So here's just a quick improvisation lesson. And remember, improvisation is where you make something up on the spot. So I'm going to play something for you. And then you are going to play something back to me using A, G, or E. You can use anything you want, any of the notes. So if it's hard, just use one note. And if you like are feeling a little bold, use two notes. And if you're like, I got this, use three notes. Okay? So. So I hope that was a fun little exercise to end with. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.